Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Tom Rickard and Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center Commander Colonel Dan Bonnickson get the ceremonial first flu shots of the season. We'll have the schedule for you in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. A forensic psychiatrist talks sexual assault. Are you ready for the military battle challenge? These stories and more, but first, Kimber Ambulatory Care Center has released their flu shot schedule for this season. You can get yours from October 10th through the 13th and October 30th and 31st from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. at the McGill Training Center. The shot clinic is open to all active duty, DOD civilians, and TRICARE beneficiaries assigned to a military treatment facility above the age of three. Members of Johns Hopkins and U.S. Family Health Plans are not eligible. You can contact Kimbrough for more information. Meanwhile, more news from Kimbrough. They're looking for volunteers to join the Patient Advisory Council. The council meets every third Tuesday from 1 to 2 p.m. If you're interested in providing patient feedback as a member of the Patient Advisory Council, contact the Patient Family Care Center and Care Department. In more health news, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. The Family Advocacy Program at Army Community Service is hosting a full schedule of events for the month, starting with a Women's Empowerment Networking Expo Monday, October 2nd from 10.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. It's being hosted by the Potomac Place Community Center. Seminars are going to focus on women's health, financial readiness, legal and employment issues, and much more. To register or for more information, call 301-677-4118. In other news, there were approximately 7,000 reported cases of sexual assault in the Army last year. Many cases do end in court-martial. This week, Fort Meade hosted Colonel Marshall Smith, U.S. Army South Command Sergeant and a forensic psychiatrist. He brought his message of reaching service members before they engage in risky behavior. Um, with the recent data that just came out, there was roughly about 7,000 um, reports of sexual assault. Um, about 5,000 unrestricted reports and about 2,000 restricted way too many okay but it is better than it was back in 2014 um, so we're making progress but we have a long way to go and I think that a lot of times with the clients that I've spoken to if they they say that if they would have known what the consequence consequences were that they maybe would have changed their behavior and not gotten themselves into the situation that they found themselves in well-intended service members Again, like I said from the beginning, I'm not talking about the predators who go out and try to do this. They need to get prosecuted and convicted and they need to go to prison. I'm talking about the well-intended people that go out to have a good time, drink alcohol, make poor choices, and then find themselves in the criminal justice system either as an alleged victim or the accused. And they don't even remember the night, but yet their whole life, the rest of their life is affected by that. In other news, service members know all about obstacle courses. If you're looking for a different obstacle course challenge, you might want to consider the Military Battle Challenge. It's being staged in conjunction with the Annual Association of the United States Army Exposition in Washington. There are individual and team events. It's open to active duty, guard, reserve, DOD civilians, and contractors. It all takes place October 9th through the 11th. You can register for free at www.battlechallenge.org. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. Stay tuned for more on the new blended retirement system right after this. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. I got Rurban, 36 cents, Lint, and a rock, fidget spinner. Think you'll have to empty your pockets for spare change and sell off your fidget spinner in order to build up your thrift savings plan for retirement? Think again. Your TSP contributions come automatically out of your paycheck. Every dollar makes a difference. In fact, investing as little as 5% of your pay can quickly add up to $100,000 in savings. You can even choose to add in any incentive, special, and bonus pay. And if you're under the BRS, starting in 2018, you can boost those savings with automatic and matching contributions but you won't have to go digging through your pockets to participate. Contributions to the TSP come right out of your paycheck. You can contribute up to the IRS limit, and that's the fact. And that's a fact. The power of one small action, one conversation, or one phone call can make a difference in the life of a veteran going through a difficult time. For free 24-7 confidential support, call the Veterans Crisis Line or the Military Crisis Line.